Kat Dennings and Josh Groban quickly became one of Hollywood's most adored couples from the moment they started dating in 2014. But after two years of apparent romantic bliss, they unexpectedly called it quits, from speculation around their careers to maybe a case of bad timing. Here's why this pair parted ways. You two are adorable together. Thank you very much. After Dennings and Groban went public with their relationship in October 2014, the couple were often spotted packing on the PDA and seen praising each other in interviews. Early on in their relationship, Dennings appeared on Late Night with Seth Meyers and shared her excitement in dating the singer-actor. And in 2015, she chatted about Groban on The Ellen Show, calling him, quote, talented and amazing, and adding, he's one of those people who can sit at a piano and play anything off the top of his head. He's just a genius. In another interview with Ellen, Groban Groban described Dennings as, quote, a brilliant and funny person. The secret to their budding romance seemed to be that both had a shared sense of humor and a bit of a nerdy disposition. And as for Groban, he dished to the host. Humor is such a huge thing for me. So, you know, the fact that we could talk about Monty Python and all sorts of weird other things, I was like, okay, yeah, we're on the same page. One thing that made Dennings and Groban so relatable was the pair's relaxed and down-to-earth attitudes. They enjoyed a relatively low-key romance, especially compared to other celeb couples. Even their friends, Beth Bears and Michael Gladys, regularly shared their relationship in interviews and in posts on social media. Dennings and Groban's under-the-radar vibe also marked a change from their own previous relationships. When Dennings dated her Two Broke Girls co-star, Nick Zano, the pair went very public. They were even once spotted hanging out at a 2012 Lakers game with Ashton Kutcher. Groban also previously had a high-profile relationship with actor January Jones from 2003 to 2006, and was later linked to singer Katy Perry in 2009, according to Good Housekeeping. Dennings did dish out a few details about their relationship, though. The actor told Seth Meyers how she and Groban spent their downtime, sharing, "...we went and saw some plays. We slept late. We cooked some food. We played some video games. Normal people things." We just, you know, just watch Great British Bake Off in our pajamas and just, <laughs> just try and be at one, finally, at the, with the universe. When Dennings and Groban reportedly split up in 2016, a source told E! that it was just a case of bad timing. But timing had been an issue for the couple from the start. Beth Bears had tried to set them up in 2014, but as people reported, Kat was spoken for at the time. Dennings' long-term relationship with Nick Zano ended sometime later that year. When Bears finally managed to introduce Dennings and Groban, the couple were at very different places in their careers. Dennings' fame was just beginning thanks to her CBS comedy series and double foray in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Darcy Lewis in the Thor franchise. But Groban had already been enjoying a successful music and TV career for over 15 years when the couple got together. If the timing wasn't right, it's possible the pair eventually grew apart. Dennings and Groban's careers continued to thrive during the course of their relationship, with Dennings starring on Two Broke Girls and Groban releasing his album Stages in 2015. But after their split the following year, the pair really doubled down on their careers. Of course, for both of us, like work is our passion, like it's what we love to do. For her part, Dennings returned to Two Broke Girls for season five in the series' sixth and final season. She then went on to voice a recurring role on Big Mouth, as well as having guest appearances on Drunk History and The Simpsons. She also nabbed several starring roles in Dollface and Friendsgiving. She also returned to the MCU to play beloved scientist Darcy Lewis in WandaVision. And there's even been talk of a spin-off series starring Dennings and Randall Park. Groban also went on to great things as well. In October 2016, he made his Broadway debut in Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. And after his stint on stage, he released his eighth studio album, Bridges, which debuted at number two on the U.S. charts. Before the couple ever split, Groban had confessed to the reality of coupling up in Hollywood. He told E, "...the fact we're both in the industry can be more of a challenge because we're always traveling and working. But this wasn't the first sign of trouble." Before Groban and Dennings got together, the singer told The Independent, "...I travel so much, and my job demands so much. Sometimes the schedule is just crazy. It's wonderful to go out with someone who does something completely different. You can learn from what they do." During the course of his relationship with Dennings, the pair spent a lot of of time making their relationship work long distance. Beth Bears apparently thought her pals were getting through it when she told People, "...in this crazy business, they're both very calm and mellow and wonderful." 
While there's been plenty of speculation about whether they might get back together someday, Dennings and Groban have officially moved on. In April 2021, Dennings publicly confirmed her relationship with singer Andrew W.K., and the couple announced their engagement less than two weeks later. Meanwhile, Groban has been dating actor Skylar Helford since 2017. The couple tends to also keep a low profile on social media, but all signs point to them being happy and loved up. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrity couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.